Welcome back to the channel and thank you for joining me in another little episode here in CS Factory, guys. This will be episode 10, by the way. Still hurt. I'm just uh, back from my little adventure. <laughs> uh, I went in for some hard drives. <laughs> Got a bunch. Got a bunch. Got six. N not a bunch, but it's very good. I have six more than what I used to have. <laughs> Had to run in with one of those nuclear dogs. <laughs> it didn't end well for me. <laughs> Good thing uh, I can spawn back in here when I die. Otherwise, this will be really goddamn painful. Really painful. <laughs> I can tell you that. Really painful. Uh, I got a bunch of uh, stuff in here. Let's uh, dump every, uh, actually this. Yeah, well, let's not cheat. <laughs> let's dump in here all this stuff uh, that we got that we don't produce yet. <laughs> uh, they will be sick. We will need those soon enough for the Mark Majigis, but whatever. Uh, free. Move faster. Thank you. Oh, it's dark already. Amazing. Well, what were we doing in here? <laughs> oh, I see. 120 more copper. Okay, status automated wiring. Well, let's hope we get that recipe with the quick wire that uh, I've cried so much about. If not, well, I'm guessing we're gonna do with the, with the wire. I remember if you can do both stators and rotors with the quick wire i think you can i think you can but i'm not sure come give it to me i need it bed <laughs> me those nuclear hogs they are really something else i just put a foundation i don't know where where the hell is she <laughs> oh, it's gone forever i hate living foundations and stuff Stuff like that into the world. <laughs> it is what it is. Uh, let's see. This guy gotta become a mark too, right? So I will need another portable miner in my inventory. Um, oh, you see? You see? That's what I'm doing. I'm doing stupid shit around here. <laughs> Anywho. Let's make this one a mark to mine. Like real fast. Done. So he will put up 240. In theory. If it's not limited, I mean. Are you limited? No, you're not. Well, you can grab this or as well. Thank you very much. Let's delete these two guys. This one's gonna become a mark free. This two guys are mark free. Uh, this guy's in here and he's put on the light. A mark free. Man, can barely wait to have my flame magic. You know? It's. It would be so good. Come on, baby. You can't reach it. Okay, so we are making 240 ingots. Now, uh, this one is gonna be a mark. Why not? A mark three. All these belts gotta be a mark three. Until the split point. Which split point? I don't know exactly where it's gonna be. Because I haven't decided yet where to put those magigis. So we're gonna need to make stators and more rotors because I want motors in my life, okay? So let's let's just take a second a minute in here and make again the calculation that we just did for me it was last week. So this one no, because 
doesn't matter. We're gonna do it with quick wire. We don't have alternate recipe with the wire burn. This one, it takes 40 per minute. Okay. To make how many? Five. Well, I would like something like 10 motors built locally here. That means 80 only for that. And I think we needed taters those goddamn automated wiring uh these guys uh 2.5 2.5 stators how many are we doing here five okay so we could have two of these so we're gonna need a hundred cable if i'm gonna need a hundred cable how much wire is that uh let's make 25 in here because easy calculations so 200 wire only for this okay uh that's f oh my god 200 okay so we're gonna need five stators uh five stators so 240 until now okay and now for our motors, which I want 10, and for our own needs, <laughs> so 10 is another 40, and another 40, so plus 80, plus, I don't know, 2 for us, something like that, 80, 400, can I make 400 wire, not there. Uh, so 300, it's 150. We only have 120. <laughs> Problem solved. <laughs> oh my god. So puny here. I could upgrade that one. Overclocked it, but not yet. <laughs> Waiting for Decaterium. Okay, so. Uh, let me see what I did in here. We got in here 60 pipes, I think, coming from this pot because our box is filled up. And eventually, once the encased beam pipes, whatever, gonna be filled up down there, we're gonna have another 60, right? On that belt. I think so. So, coming from the, to the left of, oh yeah. To the left overflow. Wow. So maybe yeah. I'm not sure I wanna I don't wanna make the production for 120, you know why? Because eventually I wanna pick from those. Let's see how many we make. From these guys in here, 2.857. What kind of goddamn number is this? Multiply with three, eight point five. Eventually, I want to take from these guys just to make some heavy material frames. Maybe I should start making them now. Oh, I didn't unlock them. I didn't unlock them yet. Are you sure BIG didn't unlock them? I did unlock them. Oh. Am I able to put that on the manufacturer? No. So how the hell is this one unlocked? In here, if I don't have manufacturers. I don't know. Beats me. Honestly. So, for 2 per minute, let's say, we're gonna need 10. We're making 8.5. So we can forget about all of this in here. <laughs> Uh, this 8.5 is gonna make something like 1.5 production of heavy material frames for our own needs. It's gonna use some of this. Oh my god, it's gonna use a lot of stuff. We gotta unlock another, another recipe for them, that's for sure. Good stuff. Nevertheless. Uh... Kinda tiny the spacing here. 
so wire 15 I'm gonna need eight constructors it's feasible for the wire here and turn with them back in there but oh thank you I don't want to accelerate I don't want to how should I say this over encumber too much this floor because maybe I'm gonna put more boxes in there to store those uh, maybe I don't know I don't think so but in here I think we will evolve the production of steel that we got in here you know come with those foundries in here somewhere upgrade that miner push up 240 it's already pushing 240 isn't it I think so upgrade that miner to push 480 when we're gonna have the belts and coming here with more foundries uh, grabbing more irony from here is simple just upgrade one of the other miners or I don't know we can add a note we have two available and one which is blocked so I would like to have in here something like four more foundries and the output of those will come in here on this floor making only pipes so I don't want to occupy this floor mister only issue is that goddamn fucking thing in there way too high way too high so we gotta get rid of that sink basically let's see if we can do that in a beautiful way Chilling. because it's way too tall so i want to put in here three walls make a high floor this one has to go away i mean it can be on this level that's this elevator but that is way too high way 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 too high how about we drop it in the back? How about that? Huh? We drop it on the next level downstairs. Yep, I think that will be just fine. So, our next level is in here. We already got a sink in there. Maybe we should do the same stuff with it. So it ends in here. This. Yes, guys. Give me that goddamn zip right now. I swear that after this session, this recording, I'm gonna not have concrete. I'm gonna buy a new mouse. Yep. Where's my goddamn concrete in here? Come on, baby. You can do this. Thank you. Okay, so we got in there three platforms. Now all we gotta do is align that exit with the goddamn stuff. So it's gotta be exactly between these two. So in there. Uh height wise. I think this gotta be a mark too. Just come in here and say on that level. I think that's right. I think. by now no more noise so this one is going in there because it will need some power it's fine she can't have the power that one is kind of crawling uh, I think it should work faster my iron is crawling that one is crawling Again, something wrong here. What the hell is going on? That one is not moving. Why aren't you moving? 
It's not moving. The beams. It's full with beams. They stop. Pipes are stopped. So the box is filled up. Okay, why isn't that one working? Because that should be the overflow, right? The head overflow. So it's going down there. I want to build something. It's going down there, down there. It's going in here. Oh, oh, oh. So I put it in here. I said, wait a minute, this guy, when we're going to have the module frame, he'll begin doing stuff, but apparently I didn't put in head overflow. <sighs> Stupid mistakes like that. And it's going to go up there and into the sink, I think. Let's check that one out. So they should come through here and exit in here. Already sinking those beauties. Amazing. We should have a bunch of points, especially with that special stuff that I put inside there. Come on, baby. What the hell are you doing? Oh, they're coming. They're coming! Look at them going! I don't know if a Mark 1 belt is gonna be enough or not. We should go and check that one out. Yeah, this is a Mark 1. We're making only 45, so it's good. Because these guys have built up. How long until we finish with the module frame so that we can start having some numbers up here? We still need 500 of those. Versatile Majigis. Huh. Well. Uh. I really see those numbers increasing. They are slowly, slowly coming. Very slowly coming here. Oops, you'll have to excuse me for a minute, guys. Good stuff, come back. Oh, it's checking this guy? Yeah. Mm -hmm. We could increase this production a little bit. Yeah, let's leave it like it is. Let's leave it like it is. So, can deposit those. Uh, still got a bunch of screws in there. Amazing. Good stuff. How much to go? So, 100, 250, 260. Uh, two per minute? That's two hours. Yeah, that means that we're gonna sink these beams. Right now there are so many because uh, those machineries were filled up in there. Only making 45 per minute. Um, I'm not enjoying this. So we are sinking the plates. Okay. It's not good. So my plates are coming Got a bunch in here. I wanna, I wanna increase this production. You know, let's double it. That's six reinforced plates. We're making ten. If I put six in here, how many will go in here? Eight. We still have an excess of two. Of course, some modifications will have to be ha done in here because that will split half and half. So it's five in here. Five in there, three in there, two in there. We're gonna sink though. That means this boy here will have to become a smart one. 
Give me that, please. So, we're gonna say like this. Rips. The left. Overflow. Ahead. That will give us, in here, the reinforced iron place that we need. Okay, now we gotta take care of those 24 iron rods. That ain't gonna be an issue, I think. Just gonna have to double this one, you know? Uh, okay, apparently we gotta put another one here. Uh, that's 24 iron ingots. So before we are consuming 12, now we're gonna consume 24. Uh, I don't know if that's gonna be an issue or not. We will not sink those. I don't know how much we're consuming here. Uh, so I'm taking 24 in here. Okay, let's see. Uh, 25 point something, Jesus Christ. Okay. And we got all these magicians in here. What are we making? Screws and plates? Yeah. Screws and rods. So we got 10, 20, uh, 20, 25, that's 45, uh, 70, 40, so 45 in here, with 25 in here, 70, and uh, so 70, 95, and something. 120 almost I think we'll be just fine so we will sink one ingot like each two minutes maybe that guy and that's about it it's very balanced I'm liking it especially that I don't like the fact that I put power shards in it this one is power sharded that guy is power sharded because it's gonna consume a lot more power but because I'm stupid I don't have enough place in here to put other machinery I could put another one in there let's be serious but well I'm just gonna have to live with my choices you know I need to put down the line so now we're gonna have four per minute let's see how many we're missing in here 100 to 150 so one hour in one hour they'll be filled up i can put these guys in here but for sure i'm gonna need some more uh let's keep those 12 on us and that's it now only problem is i gotta remember what the hell i was doing so I put the sink when I noticed the coal not working. That means we were getting ready to put another four in here. Let me up please. Actually here I got something. Uh, now that looks like it should. Yeah, we're doing very good in there. That one looks like it should. Uh, I think we're ready for the next floor, guys. Let's see if we're gonna cut something from it or not. We're not gonna cut because we said that we're gonna go in here with the steel and in there with the constructors just to have more pipes being made. Amazing. So... Should we move one more in that side just to make it equal? I don't know. I think so. Let's do that.
Actually, do I need the floor space down below? Oh, it's... Yeah, it's a catwalk. We could put some nice catwalks in there. But I'm gonna leave it with this floor. For now. Maybe we're gonna add it later. Okay, let's go up. Let's go up, I don't know, three? Maybe? And begin a new. Yeah, something like that. Of course, now I'm gonna have an issue with the getting up part. Because until here, I have this ramp. From here. I'll have to have another ramp and I'm gonna put it right in here. Good stuff. Are we on the good side? No, we gotta put one more. Good. Okay, let me build this really fast all the way and uh, I'll be right back with you. I think I want to stop in here for now just to have an idea where those pipes are uh, and this is this should be more than enough space for us so I gotta take from down there that goddamn copper uh, is it aligned with this one? no it's coming here so if I come with a split in there, it will come out in here. Wow. Mm, I can't squeeze through there. Put a small splitter in there on that belt. By the way, if you want to align this one perfectly, usually I don't take the time, but no, you put one, this one is snaps, okay? And then this one will create a line for this one to snap, you see? So it will be perfectly aligned with one of the places of this foundation whichever place you're gonna choose basically i find that amazing okay so in here we have copper ingots uh, i want to say like this ahead copper ingots and to the left overflow now this one it's a funny belt because we're not using all the 120 necessary for it and we are sinking some okay some of it gets synced apparently not enough so something is wrong something is very wrong oh this is a mark too that's what the problem is it doesn't really matter we can make it the mark free and stuff will start moving now i don't want to sink anything okay so this belt in here will have to go away all of it i'm gonna let those go is this one a smart spitter yes well there is no need for you here mister This one can be very well marked too. 
is more than enough for this consumption that we got in here. Let's delete this ugly build before I don't change my mind. Good stuff. Now we're not sinking anything. Of the copper, I mean. Now we're gonna take it all upstairs. With the Mark III, of course. Because we got more than 120. Uh, center, right? Mm, yep, center aligned. Now we're gonna come with it in this corner in here. And in the middle if possible. So I want it in the middle in here. Now time to make our way up top. Put these guys because when I got down I flew away. Okay. So we have in here our copper. Uh 240 and I don't know something, some excess. So how much was for each uh, constructor making wire because all of it is going to be turned into wire 15 8 16 constructors are you serious yeah he's serious amazing 16 constructors we gotta put down six constructors now i wish i had my blueprints uh oh my god I have access to the, my blueprints. Let's see what this map unlocked because I forgot about it. Just quick wire. Quick wire stated. Well, here we go. That one is good as well, but this one is even better. Because this one doubles the production that you make if you put inside of it a crystal oscillator. Those are really easy to make. From what I remember. Okay, scan me another one, please. Thank you very much. Let's see about those goddamn blueprints. Uh, yeah, I need them in my life. What can you do? It's gonna be more than one hour to fill up these guys, but it is what it is. What else? Some of these. Uh, 500 cables coming up. I've clicked the button. We have our blueprints. Let's go and play. Let's go and play. Right in here, in the middle, I want a bigger foundation. To me, this is gonna be just fine. Thank you very much. Okay. Why didn't Ada talk with me? Why didn't Ada talk with me? Why didn't she tell me that I'm good pioneer? And that I can play with foundations. What? Ada! What's wrong with you, baby? Are you okay? Oh my god. It is what it is. We have access to our blueprints. Now begins the real work. Um, <laughs> you don't realize that this episode is going to be the rest of it with how making blueprints whatever instead of being let's make something with that wire <laughs> yeah i think you do 
Okay. Uh, let's make it simple. Okay. Let's let's make only the blueprints for constructors. Missing 50 million frames. What do you know? Amazing. It's gonna be a lot of time until you fill this one up. But it is what it is. Okay. Oh, I just realized. Maybe, just maybe, you know, instead of filling this box and after that making the versatile frameworks, maybe we should do it differently, you know? Maybe we should come to this splitter in here and instead of saying overflow ahead, we're gonna put any. Oops, and yeah, it's good. So it's gonna split them. Two in our box, two towards the versatile framework. Everybody will be just happy. You know, it's gonna be just amazing. We're gonna start having some versatile frameworks being made. Now, we were just about to start playing here. Look at this. It needs his own entrance. Right in your face. <laughs> in my face, in this case. Uh, where's my power, mister? Where's this one coming from? Yeah, I got another one here. Come with me. That one connects. It doesn't need power, the other one? This one? No? Amazing! So, our first blueprint is gonna be the one that I use the most, okay? It's that scorpion style for constructors. I've used that one so many times, it's embarrassing. And it's the best thing ever. We're gonna start by putting in here four constructors. Because that's our limit. Uh, the fact that you have those process helps you a lot I will I like to leave myself this spacing and this spacing you can push them forward if you want to but look they don't interfere like this on the other hand if you can push them if you can if you want to push them further away Jesus Christ uh, you have a lot more spacing here for those belts to modify them and they will not quite they're not touching you know but you saw it right i mean when you put that one it's kind of kind of close so let's just put this one a little further away you know let me get up here because i'm gonna be high for this so instead of being here i put it one more in the middle of foundation in there okay so you leave one space. Same stuff in here, okay? We got two down. We're gonna make it big. It's the easiest way. Not in there, buddy. So, four on this side. Four on this side. Uh, try to follow. Because otherwise it's gonna get tricky, okay? Splitters in here. The belts. I like to have Mark II's in here. You got enough place to modify them up that if you want. In the Mark I, very little instant instances when. I made a mistake. When you're gonna need something else than a Mark One in here, those. So is there one more Mark One? Yes, good stuff. Anyway, you got enough space to get in and modify them. It's very easy. Now, before starting with all the crap up top, I wanna put in the power. 
So I'll come with the power pole. Put it somewhere in the front in here in an accessible place. As far out as you can. Because this boy in here will be your entry point. You'll connect all of this line of constructors by connecting only this, okay? Uh, don't make it a mark two. Maybe when you're gonna make the blueprint when you're gonna put it down, you will not get you will not have catherium wire quick wire. That means you won't be able to put down the blueprint. You're gonna be really pissed off. Now the last one, don't put it here. No, put it at the end in here, extremity. Why? Because there will be times when you will put down more than eight constructors. That means, uh, that will be the entry connection point. The next batch of constructors, you'll connect this pole to, guess what, that pole, the next row of eight, and that's all there is to it. It's busy, lemon squeezy. Now, we solved the power and the input, of course. You may want to make that one a mark free, but I want. I will change it as needed. And here we're gonna need some mergers. Uh, you wanna come with a, a little upper in here. And you wanna have the iron rods on you when you're doing this, okay? Not like me. Let me just go and grab them real fast. Anything else I will need, mister? got that uh, not enough cable we got the plates okay let's grab some more cable i think that's gonna be for this bill that's gonna be enough okay let's get up here i was on the goddamn ladder what the hell is happening okay up one exit to the right as i'm facing now so exiting that way uh just to make it easier for you put them all in here you could put the lifts in, on this uh instructors in here but and connect those mergers after put the one in the front and the one in the back without the middle and they will snap in theory but a lot easier like this uh, 99 percent of the time mark one lift for the, your production was gonna be more than enough just look at that goddamn line where it's going it's gonna be exactly near constructor each and every single time <gasps> gotta check that man first now next one. oops somebody fell down uh, like that like that I think they're like that I think now let's get up there up on this merger start putting belts in uh, they are all on the same level which is just amazing but that one is an interesting belt it connected to the wrong merger The one in the middle is the same discussion uh, as with the one below. I want it a mark. If you want to make it a mark free, be my guest. There might be instances, times, when you're gonna go to build, I don't know, eight of this in a row, because it will happen, trust me. And uh, you'll run out of beams but you'll have enough reinforced plates in your inventory i'm pretty sure of it so yeah this is the mother blueprint uh if you want you can put that lift in there it will kind of stick out you cannot so forget about it you will place it afterwards this is my blueprints for four constructors mark two 
We're gonna come in here. Uh, no, first we're gonna come. Sorry, in here. Uh, put in here a category. Okay. Oh, more, 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 more. Okay. And we're gonna say here constructors. Constructor icon, of course. Uh, oh, something like a factory. Whatever you want. It doesn't really matter. This guy, for example. Apply. Uh, in here, you can make manufacturers, foundries, whatever. Whatever. Okay. Subcategory. Doesn't matter. In here. Okay. Apply changes. And now, when you're gonna change this one, you're gonna say here eight constructors mark. Uh, if you wanna put those, be my guest. Directory. I want it in here. Okay. Come on. Press on something else. Did it change it? No, okay. So, did something wrong. Well, I didn't press save. Save blueprint, okay. Or maybe because I didn't have that, had that subcategory. Let's see. Eight. Jesus Christ. gonna copy that because uh, I might need to to write it again okay add blueprint here edit apply changes get out of here it's in that directory select icon I want to use the icon with my constructor easy to spot color I don't care about it. save blueprint now when you're gonna go out in the field, all you gotta do is come here. For example, smelters, put them down. You take this one, get your constructors. Entry point, you got this white arrow, this is your entry point. The other one, it's your exit point. Just click on it, and magic happens. Exactly what you designed in here is gonna be in here. Now, when you dismantle, you can do it one by one, which is stupid. We're just press uh, dismantle mode R and you're gonna dismantle all the blueprint even if you made changes on it. Now I wanna come in here and modify this a little. Okay, so that one I wanna make it a mark free. Because those are needed changes, okay? Come back in here, say mark. Free, same stuff, save, it's in the same goddamn directory, okay? Now, uh, there will be times when you will not be needing eight. So, delete the final two. Restrain yourself from deleting everything at once. It's better to go one by one, okay? In my opinion. That one, I wanna pull it forward. Uh, this one, you can put a lift in front of it. I choose to have none with the lift. It's goddamn easy to put a lift. So, six constructors, mark free. Got it. Six constructors, mark two. Here we go again.
Or construct this marked up. Or construct this mark free. Okay. And there will be instances when you will need only two butter range like this. Why? Because you're putting, I don't know, 10 constructors. So you're going to have eight and you want to add another two. It happened to me. So that's why I'm going to make a blueprint for two of them. You can have a thousand blueprints in there. Nobody cares about it. It's going to be just fine. Easy to connect. Come on, baby. Let me up. Thank you very much. Uh, you could get rid of this one if you want. I don't want to. I want to have that continuity. So, two constructors. Mark three. Uh, or one. It doesn't really matter. I'm gonna save another one with Mark two just not to mess them up because i will look for them or it will be easier just to have one yeah the constructors but then it's gonna be scorpion style no leave it like that clear designer everything has been cleared everything gets in this box in here if you want to modify something for example i don't know you got them only here by the way uh for constructors mark three i want to make it a mark four you load the blueprint you modify this one, that one, and that's it. When you wanna make another batch uh, of blueprints, either you put down your blueprint from here, load this load blueprint, it construct a smart thing, and you make all those belts mark four because that's what you wanna do, or mark five, something like that because it will happen and then you save it mark 5 then you save mark 4 and start deleting constructors but that one takes time or you come in here clear load after 8 comes with 6 modify the belts save it as a mark 5 clear load so on and so far now that we did this uh, little magic in here <laughs> blueprint lesson number 1 We're gonna come here. Oh, I said we needed 16 goddamn constructors. Guess what? We, it's gonna be really easy to put them down, right? Right. I will need one of these guys in here. Well, not exactly in here, more like in there. Look at those. It's tough. Guys, as I'm editing this video, I see that it's way too long, so I'm gonna cut it into parts. This will be the end of episode 10 of Satisfactory. Thank you for being here, and thanks for watching this. If you like it, and if you wanna see more, consider subscribing to the channel, leave a like, a comment, and if you wanna support me on my quest of becoming a full-time content creator, you can do that by grabbing yourselves an amazing membership. Thank you again for being here. Have a great day. Bye now.